Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building another house. This is actually a tiny house. It's built on a 20 by 15 I think in Newcrest and it's sort of meant for a teen girl but you can have anyone living in here if you want to of course. Just remember there's only room for one sim because there's only one single sim bed in this house but other than that yeah it's just uh, it's very cutesy there's a lot of pink a little bit of turquoise but mainly pink and then also white in the interior and um, yeah I just had a lot of fun building this yesterday and I really really like how it turned out. I think it's very very cute. It kind of looks like a dollhouse a little bit but um, I'm liking the vibes so I hope you guys like it too. And uh, yeah other than that the second floor in the house is actually empty. There's only the staircase but I did end up putting a terrace on the second floor so there's a little bit to do up there. I put a flower arrangement table up there and also a lounge area and two plant pots. So there's a little bit to do but not a whole lot. Most of the stuff is definitely going on on the ground floor if that made any sense whatsoever. But um, yeah, so I think most of the like essentials are in the house. There is uh, the dining area that I put outside because you'll see later on once we do the floor plan. But I was struggling a little bit with, you know, fitting in all the essentials in the house. And I did have to put the dining area outside. It's a very small house for me, so... That's basically why I was struggling a little bit. I'm used to building, or I'm definitely used to building bigger houses, so this was a little bit of a challenge for me, but um, there should be everything that your sim should need. They also have a computer in the kitchen actually, so they got that at least, um, but other than that it's mainly meant for a teen girl who really likes flowers and gardening and you know that kind of stuff, so. I definitely went a little bit crazy with flowers, both inside the house but also outside with both landscaping but also flower boxes. I feel like I added a lot of flower boxes but you'll also see like um, flowers in pots and vases or whatever around the house as well so it's definitely a very flower happy girl who lives in this house but personally I think it just added to the cuteness and that's definitely what I was going for in this build. I just really wanted to make it very very cute. I also added the clothesline along with a wash tub so there is laundry in this build but if you don't want to play with it you can definitely just delete both of those items and it should be completely fine. I think I forgot to put a hamper inside so I'm gonna have to do that before uploading it to the gallery. I just, I just remembered but um, oh yeah there's also room for a dog by the way no cat because the bathroom is like five squares so I didn't really have any room to put a litter box and I like to put the litter boxes in the bathroom I think it makes sense you know the cat goes to the toilet where the human goes to the toilet it just kind of makes sense in my head so I didn't really have room for a litter box but if you'd rather play with a cat in this house instead of a dog you can definitely just put the litter box wherever you want to I just prefer to put them in the bathroom so I just have to go for a dog instead I don't know what kind of dog though do let me know if you have any suggestions for that I kind of I kind of imagine her to have like a Yorkie or maybe a Malteser dog or something but definitely do let me know I still um I asked about that on my girly loft build as well because I didn't really know what kind of dog she would have and I'm still getting suggestions uh, suggestions for that now so so I'll have like every day I'll have like two different dog breed comments in my comment box and it's really really funny and um, I'm actually enjoying it because I really like dogs so it makes me kind of happy but yeah let me know. So I decided to go for the more brown kind of wood for the flooring just because I feel like that color actually looks really nice with pink. I don't know what it is. I have a thing for like brown and pink together. Of course like white and pink together looks cute too but sometimes it's a little bit too cute cute you know what I mean like it's a little bit too sugary kind of but I really like a brown with pink I don't know what that's about I saw a girl in school when I went to school still like years and years ago by now <laughs> but anyways she had this like dark brown hair and she was wearing a pink hoodie and from that moment I was like 
that's a good color combination. I really like that, so I decided to go for a uh, brown flooring. Random little story for you guys there, but anyways. So, um, yeah, but I do like it. The flooring is from Cats and Dogs, by the way. We are using the new fence that we got with Strangerville for the terrace. I think the pillars, too, or the columns, too, are also from Strangerville. And then the windows on the house are from Cats and Dogs, too. And also the siding on the house is actually from Base Game. It's one of those sidings that I never use because I just, I don't know, I don't really like it, but we haven't gotten like a newer updated siding that came in pink, so I kind of had to go for it because I really wanted the house to be pink, so yeah, I'm kind of just going for it anyways. And then I also decorated with some of the wall decor that we got with Seasons, I think, yeah. And um, I used some of those, I don't know what they're called, garlanders or whatever. Did I just come up with that word? I might have, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they're shaped like hearts and they come in red and pink. So I hung those up on the terrace. I also put some of the banners on the house itself along with some postcards as well. So it's very like cutesy kind of decorated and I really like it. I think it fits the theme that we're going for. It definitely also fits the color scheme here in the interior, which is pretty much this as you can see right now we're definitely using a lot of stuff from parenthood it just came in the right swatches it had the you know the right style for what kind of interior that i was going with so we're using a lot from parenthood just so you know but can definitely recommend that pack in case you didn't know already i think i mentioned that quite often but i really like that pack so also at this point while doing the interior i wasn't really sure if i was going to be able to fit in a computer in the house so I really wanted her to have some fun to do because, you know, you still want it to be playable even though it's a tiny house and even though it's 14 and whatever. So I really wanted, you know, her to have something fun to do. So I decided to give her a TV and also a console. I think she may have to stand up to play on it though because she can't sit on the bed and play on it, at least as far as I know. The couch, or not the couch, but the chair over in the corner may work, but I think she has to st stand up to play on it, unfortunately. I did kind of try to turn the TV towards the chair a little bit, so it's still kind of turned towards the bed as well, just for decoration purposes, you know? So it kind of looks like it makes sense a little bit. <laughs> we, we do want to pretend like she's lying in bed and watching TV sometimes. I think that's quite cozy, and um, yeah, but hopefully it's, it'll still work. She may have to stand up to play on the console though, but I really wanted her to have some fun to do in this house. I also give her a music player for the same purposes so she can dance along to the music playing on that or whatever. But then I realized that I'd actually have an extra counter free from clutter here, or I could make it free from clutter. So I decided to change it to one of the island counters instead, and I placed a laptop on it. So she does have a computer that she can also play on now but I decided to keep the console in here anyway. So she's a little bit spoiled. She has a lot of fun to do in this house after all, but um, I just really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fit a, in a computer in this house. So that's why I decided to give her the console to start out with. Now she just has a lot of extra fun to do. <laughs> so um, I don't know why, by the way, but the pet bed is super annoying to place just about anywhere. It's like, it, it seems like it's got a bigger, like, a, an invisible wall around it, and Sims can't, like, it's a lot bigger than the pet bed actually is, which makes it really difficult to place it anywhere because of rooting problems. So I just, I struggle with that pet bed, but I really wanted her to have one because I feel like she would spoil her dog just a little bit. So the dog would have its own bed rather than just lying on the floor. And it can't really lie on the couch outside on the terrace because that's a little bit cold and stuff during winter. So she needed her own bed, but um, it's definitely difficult to place that pet bed. I just wanna, just wanna point that out. And as you saw in the kitchen just before, because I put a bouquet under underneath the staircase I and also some clutter and also the food bowls for the dog I didn't really have any place to put you know a dining table or anything so during summer or spring or just nice weather overall she can definitely just sit out here on the porch and um, yeah I had some extra space so I decided to put the dining table along with some extra chairs as well out here so she can have friends over 
later on I actually also put a bigger table down in the backyard along with a grill as well so she can definitely have more friends over maybe they can have a barbecue party or something like that you can move the stereo outside and they can dance in the backyard or you know something like that so I think that would be quite cute so um yeah and then before decorating the terrace on the second floor I decided to do some of the landscaping in the backyard so I basically just copy pasted some of the items or some of the bushes and the flowers and all the stuff that I used at the front yard just to make it a little bit more cohesive instead of just you know dragging different bushes out of the catalog and totally forgot forgetting what bushes I used before and stuff so I just copy paste from the front to the back and I think that works so I often do that to be honest it's like uh, when you've done one bathroom and you want to do the next bathroom you tend to just copy paste the items from the first bathroom and that's not like super personalized bathrooms but I don't really often do very personalized bath bathrooms I just I just don't like bathrooms <laughs> so anyways I do think I'd forgotten to actually decorate the bathroom at this point I could be wrong though because I did look away from the screen for a second but it's a very simple bathroom there's not a whole lot going on in there so if it's not done yet it'll take like 10 seconds or something there's not not a whole lot going on in there but um anyways for the terrace up here I decided to put some plants around some flowers too she gets this couch that is from movie hangout stuff pack I also used some of these poofs or pillows or whatever you want to call those I think they're from movie hangout stuff pack as well they're super cute so patterned and came in the right colors as well so I decided to go with those instead of like proper chairs so she's also got her flower arrangement table up there too and also two plant pots so she can plant just a little bit up there maybe she plants her own veggies or something I don't fully know maybe she just plants flowers that she can use on the table that could be very possible but other than that I think I'm just placing down this table that I mentioned earlier here in the backyard along with a grill as well so she can definitely have some friends over for you know our barbecue party or something like like that I do some more terrain paint and I also think I place some clutter in the kitchen because I completely forgot before but I think that's about it so yeah if you like this build you can download it off the gallery my IED is Evelyn YT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or Evelyn YT the Q&A part 2 will be coming up on the channel tonight so if you're interested in that definitely keep an eye out for it um, there'll also be another giveaway in that video so if you're interested in Strangerville definitely go check that out so I know it's been a little while since the last one but I just haven't had time to edit it to be honest and it also bugged out on me again so thanks Premiere Pro much appreciated but other than that um, let me know if you got any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel by leaving a comment in the comment section down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one Bye-bye. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mountain. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. Out of